Hey guys, Russ here with bishopswest.com. Wanted to talk today about reversing audio clips. Um, this is something that somebody left in the comments a few weeks ago that they thought it was hard to reverse audio clips in Bitwig Studio. Um, coming from Cakewalk, it was more of a pain there because it was buried in the menus. So for me in Bitwig Studio, it seems like it's really easy, but maybe you just haven't seen it before or you're brand new to Bitwig, so I thought I'd just show you real fast. So I've got just the start of a track here. And so it's got these piano chords and I just wanted to add some interest to them. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is click and drag it down to a new track. I'll probably bring both of those up. Oops, yeah, up into here. And, sorry, just rearranging things. What I'll do first is with this one, the easy way to do it is when you select the, the clip, you go up here, you'll see the clip up in your toolbar and you click on that and there's a reverse button right there. Now you'll see I've got that button on the toolbar. That's because I've clicked this little thumbtack here to keep it up there every time that I select a clip. So what I can do is A, reverse the whole thing. But that's not gonna sound good because um, the chords aren't gonna line up with the original. So I just wanna take this little section here and reverse that. So what I need to do is Control E to split that out and that puts it in its own clip. And then I'm gonna click reverse, but here's the only real gotcha is when I click reverse, you'll see if you look carefully that it's actually this last bar over here. And that's because when you control E and, and split the clip, it still contains all of the original audio. So what you need to do instead is control Z. Once you've um, split it out, you press control J and that consolidates it. And now when I press the reverse button, you can see that it just reverses that one little section. Okay, so that's how you can do it if you're gonna do it up here. The slightly easier way maybe is if you just double click on this, it opens it in the editor window down here and you can then just select what you wanna do and press control E. And because you're actually editing the event now inside of the clip, it just does that little section. And so now I reverse it and it just does that one little section. And I'll do the same thing over here uh, control E, reverse that, and then same thing, make sure I select that, reverse that. And then I'm gonna get rid of some of the extraneous stuff here too. So now if we listen. Okay, so now we've got just certain parts of it um, reversed. And then I'm going to adjust the fade in a little bit just so it's starting from absolute silence. And then oops, on here I'm also going to just add Some reverb, some chorus. Maybe some phase. Take it. Take it down so it's not so overwhelming. Okay, so um, 
fairly easy way to add some interest to your tracks. Um, probably could have thrown a delay on there too, maybe. I don't know. Whatever sounds good and, and works for the track that you're working on. So I hope you liked that. I hope it was, I hope it was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, if you know an easier way to accomplish the same thing, definitely leave them in the comments down below. It's always fun to hear from you guys and to hopefully learn from each other too in the process. Um, if it was helpful, please click on the like. And the other thing I wanted to remember to mention is that I've got a free download, download for you. It's called Accelerate Your Music Making in Bitwig Studio. It's available at bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup. Um, again, bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup. Uh, free download, just enter your email address and I'll send you the link. And that's it. I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.